Hi guys and welcome to the Biotech channel. Today we're gonna see a step-by-step -step video on how to correct red eyebrows with permanent makeup. So the first step that we want to do is recreate the perfect shape of eyebrows for our client. While doing so we want to create our sketch, we want to even out all the possible asymmetries and enhance the feature of the face of our client. Once we have done it, we want to mark this contour on the skin. And to do so, we're going to use a one-point needle. In this case, I'm using a one-point HD needle, which is uh, the best needle, in my opinion, in uh, the Biotech Gamma. It's perfect for hair by hair, hair strokes. But in this case, I use it just to mark the softest and very very delicate line into the skin because we want to mark just the contour into the skin we do not want to achieve a super visible uh, contour we just want to mark it barely visibly and from that point since we have the perimeter we want to go inside and fill in uh, this perfect shape uh, with a shading needle to create this soft powder effect The color we are using today is called Golden Bronze and it's a, a perfect ashy blonde which contains a little bit of green which is going to even out the red tendency of the previous permanent makeup done by another professional. So this color is ideal for blonde clients with warm skin tones or it's also perfect and it also can be used to correct red eyebrows on blonde client. We are proceeding, we've marked our contour onto the skin, very light pressure and now we're gonna take a five point magnum needle with the same color, which I repeat, it's golden bronze from Biotech and we're gonna proceed working with this needle on a 90 degree angle very very softly into the skin layer after layer we want to build up the intensity of the color in the areas that we choose to apply more color or less color the device we're using today it's the brand new device produced by biotech milan and it's called maestro this device is pre-equipped with two different hand pieces, one soft and one strong. The soft one is ideal for shading effects and indeed is the one we're using today to face this difficult correction on eyebrows. And the strong device, the strong hand piece, uh, it's created, has been created to achieve uh, stronger results such as lines or hair by hair, hair strokes. The secret when we are performing a shading technique is to not be in a hurry. We need to be patient and it's a matter of overlapping several layers till we reach the perfect saturation and intensity of color. While doing so, we want to release more pigment in the lower area of the eyebrow and more pigment in the tail because we want the tail to be pretty visible. While we want the beginning of the eyebrows in the central, central part of the face to be lighter, barely visible. We are finishing the procedure with the last finishing touches. Of course, we want to check if we have deposited the pigment smoothly, uniformly throughout the whole eyebrow. And here we are. This is the final effect of our first procedure of correction. Always remember that the result that we see now, today, immediately after the procedure, will heal a lot more natural after 30 days, which is the time that the skin takes to completely heal and regenerate. 
So actually the color that we perceive today, immediately after the treatment, is not exactly the same color that will last in the skin for the rest of the year. Let's say that the color tends to fade away quite a bit, let's say a good uh, between 30 and 40% depending on the type of skin of the client. So, this is the final result of the first procedure and what I want to show you now it's a little video comparison between the before the treatment and please notice how red her eyebrows were and 30 days after the treatment this is the final healed result. This is the stabilized color that will stay into the skin for the rest of the year. As you can see, the color that we have chosen, which was golden bronze, has completely neutralized all the red tendency of her eyebrows and it has healed into a very neutral, which means not too warm and not too cold, light blonde. Choosing the perfect color for a correction of red eyebrows is not always easy. So I would like to recommend you a few colors based on the final effect that you like to achieve. For example, if I want to achieve a light blonde color, like in this case, I'm going to use a golden bronze color. If I want to achieve a dark blonde, I'll use blonde tan. For a light brown color, I'll use brown 7 and a dark brown color I'll use deep brown. All these colors of course are made and produced by Biotech. You can find the link in the description below the video. What do you think guys? Did you like this video? Was it helpful? I hope so. If you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye!